How y'all doing everybody? It's the 14th of March. Uh, tomorrow's the AIDS of March 2011. Uh, I really only wanted to talk to you very very briefly. I'll make this as brief as I can uh, about what's going on in Japan. And uh, I have a funny feeling about this. I think that this is a, this is a colossal disaster we have on our hands at the moment. I've just been looking over the internet, seeing a few what the few of the gurus say, and uh, reading between the lines doesn't look good. No matter what way you look at it, imagine you have a country. You have to think about this. You have a country. It's the landmass of the country, big long islands. The landmass of the whole of Japan is two and a half times the size of Ireland. But uh, in Ireland we've got five million people. They've got 128 million people. And up until recently, until China overtook it, it was the second largest, the most important industrial power in the world after America. And it's a small brother of America. It fulfills an imperial role for America in just immediately been off Korea and off China, the mainland of China. So it kind of acts as America's immediate junior partner, as I say, in that whole sphere of influence over there. And it has, depending where you read, it has between 53 and 55, yeah, that's correct, 53 or 55 active nuclear reactors. And those reactors give approximately between 35 and 38% of its total power grid, the total energy required in the power grid. Now, the vast bulk of these reactors are American designed reactors. Some of them initially, I think, were British designed reactors, which in turn would have been originally American designed reactors. But they come out of the General Electric Company. And they were obviously set up. These ones that have all gone wrong were uh, initially uh, set up and were running in the 1970s, this uh, Fukushima plant, the six reactors there. Now, as I say, reading between the lines and looking at the television today, and uh, I, I hope it's not the case, but I just have a bad feeling in my water about this one. I really do. I think this could turn out to be an unmitigated disaster. Uh, if it's anything like the Chernobyl fallout, these reactors are much bigger than the Chernobyl, the Russian reactor, that uh, exploded 25 years ago. Now, <clears throat> either I'm a total idiot or I'm not, but the way I see it is, when you've got reactors and people are looking at them through telephoto lenses and they're telling us that walls have fallen down on them. Walls have fallen down. Now, please believe me, I have seen lots of explosions going off where I come from, up close. Those explosions that went off at those two reactors so far are colossal explosions. There was debris thrown thousands of feet into the air at both those explosions. And they have affected buildings all around them, have been seriously damaged, and equipment that are all around those explosions have all been seriously damaged as a result of those explosions. Now, the whole thing to me reads really bad. Uh, I don't want to sound like I'm a prophet of doom or anything like just the whole thing to me stinks to high heaven. Like, I wonder who do our media think they're talking to? On the first day of that broke out, that um, when that earthquake struck and the tsunami struck, please listen to me what happened on BBC News. I happened to be listening to it on the radio. I don't know which one it was. It might have been BBC Four or BBC Three. I don't know which one it was. And imagine they said that as a result of the tsunami, on the first day when the tsunami struck, that one person was dead. The report from Japan was that one person was dead. And I'm looking at it, I had been looking at it a half an hour earlier on the television, and saw these 
gigantic waves smashing into these towns and smashing the place apart. And these people are telling us this. I think they will be doing very, very well if there's not a hundred thousand people dead as a result of this stuff. I think it could be a lot more. I think there could be a lot more than a hundred thousand people dead. These people are, uh, these Japanese people you see, have been really heavily conditioned. You must remember, the Americans are the only country in the world that have ever dropped atomic bombs on anybody. They didn't drop one, they dropped two. They dropped one on Hiroshima and then followed it up on Nagasaki. So these Japanese people are really have been heavily conditioned after the Second World War. And just to make a small point, when they installed those 53 nuclear power plants, nuclear reactors in Japan, I bet you the Japanese people never had a referendum to say that, whether or not that was in their interests or not. And all this brings all this to mind just is this talking about bringing a nuclear reactor to Ireland. And all I can just say is the day we do that, the day we bring one nuclear reactor into our country, you know, we all better leave the country. Because as sure as shooting, as sure as shooting, we know the outcome is going to be. It'd be like giving a, your child a load of 38 to play with, with a group of other children. Nothing's going to happen for the first day or two days or three days. But seven months later, after you've forgotten about it, he'll either shoot himself or he'll shoot another child. And that's just going to happen with one of these reactors. We ever bring them into our little country here. Just one. And imagine those Japanese people have between 53 and 55 active reactors, nuclear reactors today, working on that country. And a whole group of them are about to blow up in that group. Oh, in that in the north, the northeast of Japan. My heart goes out to them. I don't know what else to say about it all. I just hope it's not what I think it is in my water. Because I think the implications for, for all of us, this is this is a real black swan event. This is really it. This is really what I see this as. I think the implications for this could be enormous. Absolutely enormous. And, but I'll tell you one thing, it certainly ain't over yet. Anyway, my, my prayers are with those people in Japan tonight, that's all I can say. Good, good luck, we'll talk later, bye.